Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, so it is time for weigh-in and weekly topic. So start, as we always do, with the weigh-in. I had a great week. Um, yeah, I did, didn't do great on my water again, um, but did better. Did much better, much better on the mindless eating and the snacking, especially towards the end of the week. The beginning of the week was a little rough, but the end of the week was much, much better. Um, and I feel so much better than I did last week when it comes to the diet fatigue and being in control and things like that. So hopefully that will keep going for me because I definitely, definitely feel like I'm almost back to my old self, <laughs> but not the old, old self, the old self after February of 2018. So, so how did I do on the scale with my pretty good week? I am down 0.8. So that is definitely, definitely better than a gain. And it's better than just 0.2. So I am very happy with the 0.8. I needed that today to kind of keep me going. So I will keep going. I will have a great week. Do I have any obstacles this week? We have Pinochle on Friday night here. Um, that should be fine. Saturday, we have another processing day for chickens. I'm not expecting any issues on Saturday. Originally, we were going to do takeout Saturday night because after processing, we have to go to 5 o'clock mass, and then there is a Eucharistic procession after 5 o'clock mass. We are not going to get home probably until about 7.30, but we decided against takeout because Sunday we are driving down to Maryland just to take Adam out to dinner and turning around and coming home. Um, so it'll be a long time in the car. Two and a half hours down, dinner, two and a half hours back. Um, his birthday is next Tuesday, the 13th but we can't get down there on Tuesday because he works and we work. So we're going down Sunday just to take him to dinner um, for his birthday. So I don't know where he wants to go yet, but I, I think I'll be okay with that. I really do. Um, I generally don't have a problem when we eat out. I don't go off the rails or binge or anything. So I'm good with that. So all in all, oh, and then Saturday night, I'm going to put a pork roast in the crock pot. And depending on what the guys want, I'll either do barbecue pulled pork or I will do um, Italian porchetta. So we will see. But I have a plan. I know what's coming this week and I really, really plan to do good with it. So that's that. Um, down point eight. Let's get to the topic. How to handle changes in your routine is the topic this week. If you're wondering how you'll stay on track during a weekend at a friend's house, your kid's school break, or a busy time at work, hear this. You don't have to stick to your usual script. Pencil in a rehearsal beforehand so you know what to do in the moment. I don't know if I ever have a normal routine. You know, with running the daycare, I have different kids every day. We do different things every day. And you know we are very busy around here on the weekends between, um, you know, animal chores and just garden chores and house chores and all that stuff. So I don't know if I ever have normal. I, I guess my normal is not normal. So that is normal, right? <laughs> So it says, try this, roll camera. Pretend you're watching a day during this time play out like a movie. What's going on, who is there, and what is different from your usual experience? Kind of like I just talked about with this weekend, not being around a whole lot. Um, so, you know, I guess we are kind of off script this weekend because we're not going to be home doing all the things we normally do. It says, notice the hiccups. List anything that might get in the way of the routine you rely on. 
Now they're basing this on going to a friend's house. My friend has lots of sweets and other food at her house that I normally don't buy. So that would be a hiccup. Find realistic solutions. Consider what things you could do to stay engaged with your journey. You could bring lower points or calorie dessert or ask her to store the snacks out of sight. And then reshoot your scene. Use your answers from step two and three to make a detailed action plan that is going to support your goals. Be specific about the what, where, how, and when. So, okay, you know, you're going to your friend's house and she has a lot of sweets around. What do you do? It told you what to do, bring your own or ask her to move things out of the way, which that could be uncomfortable for some people. And honestly, you might disagree with me here, but I feel like we as people on a journey need to fit into the world. The world doesn't have to fit into us. Uh, and I think that's a huge problem in the world today, honestly, but that's a whole nother topic. Um, we need to fit into that. So I would never, ever ask anyone, whether it be a best friend or relative or whoever, to remove food out of sight from their house just because I have no willpower or I don't have control. So I definitely don't agree with that. Um, but I definitely agree with offering to take a dish. Um, I wouldn't take stuff and say, well, this is, I brought this for me to snack on. I would make a dish that is low in calorie, low in points, fits into whatever plan you are on and take it to share with everyone. I wouldn't, you know, so that's definitely, definitely doable for me is to take something to share. Like I said, I would never ask someone to remove food out of sight because I just think that's wrong, but that's just me. Um, so come up with a way, you know, come up with a plan. Think ahead, fast forward to after the credits roll. How will you get back to your regular routine? Write down the first thing you'll do and when. Well, let's say you're hanging out with your girlfriend on Saturday at her house and then it's Sunday. What do you do to get back on plan? Well, you're back in your own house, so you're not going to have snacks all over the place or candy dishes out or whatever. So that's the first thing you're going to do is you're going to be back in your own environment. And then you need to assess and think, well, what did I eat? at her house? Did I go overboard? Did I use weekly points? Did I use earned calories? Whatever. And then you need to plan your day to get back to what it should be. You need to remember that that was a special day. It was one day out of a whole week and you can't let it continue. And maybe you didn't have a good day at her house. Maybe you went off the rails. And then the next day you think, well, I went off the rails yesterday. I'm just going to I'll throw in the towel until weigh in on Wednesday. No, you can't do that. You have to get right back on the horse. Just because you had one bad day, you don't have to turn it into a bad week. Because that bad week could possibly turn into a bad month. And then we all know what happens from there. So just have that mindset that one day off routine, right back on the next. And Honestly, it's not as hard as you think to get back on routine because if you've been in doing this a while and you have a day where you just kind of eat stuff that you normally don't eat or overeat, you're not going to feel good. You're going to want to get back to routine. You're going to get, you're going to want to get back to drinking your water or your unsweetened iced tea or whatever it is you drink instead of maybe the soda or, sorry, I was so dry soda or the sweet tea that you had at your friends. So you can do it. You can get back on because you know how good you're going to feel. It says, let's dive a little deeper. We love routines, but truth is a routine isn't going to work every single day because life isn't the same every day. Trying to force your ordinary way of doing things during extraordinary times only sets you up for frustration and maybe even a setback. Instead, make adjustments that work with your new day-to-day. -day. Maybe that means going for a walk if there's no stationary bike where you're staying, or ordering from a healthy meal delivery service, or planning for lower points, lower calorie takeout meals the week 
that a huge work project and office overtime is inevitable. Sometimes you can't control disruptions to your routine. Sometimes you don't want to, nor should you have to, but you can plan ahead and pivot like with an actual detour. You'll still get to your destination, staying active, eating healthy foods, and doing whatever else helps you be successful on this journey. It may just look a little different than your normal routine. And then it says three fast facts. When your environment changes, your behavior often changes too. You can adjust your approach to fit the new environment so it supports your goals. And you can stay engaged on your journey even in a modified way. You can keep on track until things get back to normal. So, you know, like I said, we all have disruptions. And for a lot of us, that disruption is right now, it is almost summertime. And if you have young kids who are in school and suddenly they're going to be around all day, um, you're going to be doing more things. You're going to be planning more activities. I know for us, summer comes and you know, almost every single Monday in the summer, we head to the beach. It's what we do. We go down the shore is what we say in Jersey. And how, and that's, you know, totally different because normally on Mondays, you know, we get up, we exercise, we, I send Doug off to work and, you know, that's how it goes. Well, now with Mondays with him home and going down the shore, our routine's going to change. We generally exercise when we get to the shore. So we'll wake up and not exercise. Um, when I say we exercise at the shore, we usually take a three or four mile walk on the beach. And that's our exercise for the day. Um, usually I try to run at least two miles of it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends on the situation. Um, but being down the shore for the day can set me so off track if I let it. Why? Well, the shore is a vacation destination for a lot of people. And what happens on a vacation? When there's a vacation destination, you have a lot of good food shops. You know, you have the fudge and the saltwater taffies and the ice cream shops at the shore and the pizza shops. How do I avoid all that? Well, number one, I remind myself that why am I going to the shore for the day? I'm going to the shore for the day to sit on the beach and enjoy ourselves and relax and read books or whatever. We pack our lunch. Um, number one, I don't work much in the summer, so our disposable income is less because I'm not working as much. So, you know, I don't want to go down and spend 20 bucks on a pizza and, and you know, 10 bucks on ice cream and things like that. I'm frugal. I'm cheap. Um, I'm not going to say that maybe one or two times out of the summer, we won't go up and, you know, get pizza on the boardwalk or whatever, because I'm sure we will. But that's not going to be the norm. That is not going to be the new normal routine. The new normal routine is going to be packing our lunches like we did all last summer. Um, now, a lot of times we do stop at Dunkin' on the way out of town and I either get an unsweetened iced tea and Doug gets an iced coffee or sometimes if I know I have a very low-cal day planned, I will splurge and get, you know, a 200-calorie iced chai because I can easily fit that in. Um, so even your new normal routine may not look the same every week. Uh, we have a couple different routines. And like I said, I don't work a lot during the summer, so my days aren't quite as busy taking care of little ones, which can lead to more opportunity to be bored. And what happens when we're bored? Sometimes we eat. Not that I'm ever bored, but, um, you know, when, when you're so busy, I, I forget to eat. I don't think about eating as much. And when I'm sitting around, you know, I get the urge to bake. I get the urge to do this. So we have to... We have to look at that routine and we have to own that routine, that new routine, that new normal for the, for the summer or for whatever season. Maybe your different season is the fall. Who knows? Tailor this to your needs. But we have to come up with new routines for the new season that we are in. And we have to base those routines off of our regular. 
it's going to be different. It is, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be so different that it's off the rails. You just have to remember what the end goal is, no matter if it is spring, summer, winter, fall, vacation, not vacation. Now, I'm of firm belief that when you are on vacation, you should not go off the rails, but you should allow yourself a little bit of grace, a little bit of leeway, because maybe you are going, I don't know, let's, let's just pick Disney. Maybe you're going to Disney and you only go to Disney once every three years. And you know, in Disney, you love to have a Dole Whip and you love to have school bread from Norway or whatever. You only get those once every three years. Am I telling you to eat them all on the same day? No. Spread them out. Maybe say to myself, okay, I'm going to be on vacation for seven days. I'm going to allow myself my four favorite treats. I am going to allow myself one very decadent dinner. I am going to allow myself X, whatever. Go with a plan. Go with a plan that's realistic and stick with it. You know, if you go and say, well, I'm going to have a Dole Whip every single day. By the third day, it's not going to be special anymore. It's going to be pineapple ice cream. So think about it. Think about what you truly want and what will truly satisfy you and go from there. So that is really it for this week's topic. It's, this monthly theme is dealing with routine disruptions. And we all have them. And yes, we need to learn how to deal with them. So, and sometimes they're planned and sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're off the cuff. Sometimes it's just like your husband or wife or partner comes home and says, hey, let's go out to dinner. Not part of your routine. You need to roll with it and you need to be able to roll with it. And having some ideas in the back of your head all the time will definitely help with that. But just remember, because it is a new routine, it does not have to derail you. You just need to adjust. Adjust our sales, my friends. Adjust our sales. So good luck with that. Let me know if you have any new routines coming up. Let me know what's going on. Let me know if summer's harder for you or easier for you. I think summer's a little bit easier for me. We have all the fresh produce. I don't want to bake as much because I don't want to heat my house up. So I think it's a little bit easier for me, but we'll see. But there's also, you know, you can also say, well, there's more parties, there's more get-togethers, there's more barbecues. And there is, but they're generally on the weekend. And we, if we focus really, really good during the week, we can allow ourselves a little bit of leeway on the weekend. So... Just keep all these things in mind. Let me know what you think about routines. Let me know if yours stay the same all year. Thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate that you take time out of your busy day to spend it with me. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to my channel. So thank you and have a great week. And I will see you tomorrow in a two days of what I eat video. I will leave a couple videos linked here, some past uh, weekly topics or some past motivational videos, and maybe they will help. Have a great one, everyone.